I'm speaking to you from outside the rehabilitation center of the Greater Pittsburgh Guild for the Blind, and beside me is the director of this rehabilitation center, Mr. William Gallagher, and we see some people uh, in fencing garb and actually taking some instruction here. Who are these people, Mr. Gallagher? These are trainees at the rehabilitation center. They are in a course in fencing, which helps to be, uh, so the person be more independent, more balanced, more coordination, posture. It's part one of our courses in the program. And they are people who have had sight, is that right? Yes. We only accept individuals who grew up, did things in a seeing way, and then became blind. We work with adults who have lost their sight. It is a 16-week program for total rehabilitation. Isn't it rather unusual to be teaching uh, blind people to fence? Well, uh, in one way, yes, Mr. Stewart, but in another way, we feel no. Fencing in the program is not for recreation, but for rehabilitation, so that the individual may build up more confidence in himself when he returns to the community mm -hmm. to do many of the things that he had done before he had lost his vision. Uh -huh. And uh, how can they fence? Maybe I should ask Mr. Waffa that, I guess, uh, as the instructor, how he gives them their instruction in fencing. Right now, uh, maybe <laughs> we could listen to Mr. Waffa, who is your fencing instructor, and see what he is saying. Send your arms, run, on guard, at ease. Now correct yourself. Use my voice as a forward clue and the blower on top of the door as your side clue and correct your position. Good. You want, you want to bounce now? Everybody back off the strip. Everybody back off the strip. Take your mask off. Mr. Balser and Mr. Haynes. Mr. Balser and Mr. Haynes. Mr. Balser on my right, Mr. Haynes on my left. I'm standing right in the center of the strip. Mr. Waffa, you're setting up a bout now, are you? Yes, I am. And uh, what? Uh, will they be doing? What will we be expected to see here? Well, uh, as you notice, uh, Lyle, that they are standing on the west side of the strip, and when I call their name, they go to the strip through the, the spatial relations center. Mm -hmm. And they must go to the end of the strip where there is iron bar, the metal bar, and they feel their way to the on guard line. Mm -hmm. And from yeah. there they stand at ease. I didn't tell them to stand at ease. They stand at ease and wait for the command of the uh, are you ready? When I say, are you ready, you watch them, and they'll come, they salute each other, come on guard, and we start to send you at the command. All right, you, go, you go ahead, and I'll ask you questions as they come to mind here. Good, that's fine. Are you ready? Ready. On guard, ready, Fence. They are now probing with the plate until they establish contact. They have established contact. Now watch them establish the position. They are attacking. Miss on the back. Do you have to teach any special fencing techniques uh, because of their blindness? Uh, no, we follow the same uh, course that I teach in beginners uh, anywhere. Mm -hmm. No change in the course. Halt! Foul and pass. Step back. Ready. Fence. Is there a special benefit of fencing to these people who can't uh, see? Fencing is uh, a wonderful uh, instrument for sensory training. It, it trains the uh, entire sensorium of the human being. Halt! I have to watch them because they, they, they come too close <laughs> together. Halt! Are you ready? Fence. We, we are not necessarily trying to make fences off. Halt, pass, halt, ready, fence out of the trainees, but the exercise, the manipulation of the blade, almost halt. Touch again, it's right. Mask off and salute. to see how they go to each other, they talk to each other so they can locate each other. Uh -huh. In other and words... They shake hands. They must uh, follow the same fencing etiquette we have in the big tournament. And how long have they been here now? Uh, 
This is the 14th week. Uh, and how long have they been fencing? They've been fencing. Uh, uh, the whole time? They, no, they, they have been drilled in position and movement for 10 weeks. And uh -huh. they start crossing each uh, blade with each other on the 11th week. So actually, they, this is the fourth week of actual combat. As you see, they're not doing very badly at all. Mm -hmm. Through the sense of hearing, they can localize and distance estimate the opponent. Mm -hmm. And the contact of the blade also will help them uh, determine the position of their opponents. Mm -hmm. And then from there, they can commence fencing, following the same simple rules of fencing, extension lunge or beat lunge or disengage lunge, all the simple movement that the normal fencer would take. Thank you very much, Mr. Wolf. It's been very interesting. That's all our time from here. Let's see now where the magic carpet will take us next.